welcome to this video here I'll be showing you a quick configuration on the ADCS okay on Windows Server 2016 we'll be configuring the enterprise root CA and then we'll move on to see how we can configure the manual enrollment for users and computers okay for secured communication in terms of uh, data encryption and then we'll look at um, configuring okay the certificate auto enrollment and talk about how it can be useful and also we'll look at recovering a lost key in any case maybe a certificate has been given to a user and then the user lost it or there is a particular disaster okay how can you get back that key for that user we're going to look at that in the key recovery section okay so guys let's see um our environment okay guys over here i would uh, my my platform my setup i would have a dc1 which is going to which is going to be my domain controller and also going to be my certificate authority and then i'll go ahead and have a client pc for the windows 10 okay um operating system uh, and then this is its configuration basically on the same network and that is just the setup so let's kick start this by moving on to dc1 to start our configuration that is dc001 sorry to start our configuration okay guys right here on the dc001 would be configuring the certificate authority right away by installing the ADCS role so over here on my dashboard I can go over to add roles and the uh, features and then I will click on next click on next next again and then I will select the active directory certificate services and then I'll go for next next again next and then I'll select the certification authority which is what I want to configure and then uh, I'll go for install so this will this will take some couple of um, seconds to finish. So I'll be right back. All right, our server is done installing the row. Though that depends on how fast your your your, your server is. Uh, then, uh, mine is quite fast. Okay, so let's move on. Right now our installation is done, so we can click on this configure AD certificate service to configure our server. Right here, I'm going to use the inbuilt administrator account, and then I'll go for Nest. Click on my certification authority, and then I go for Nest. I want to create an enterprise CA. I'll go for Nest. Yeah, it's a root CA Nest, and then a new private key, and then I'm going to use the default cryptographic options right here, and then I'll go for Nest. Right here, I can specify my root CA with a common name that would be friendly so I would say just call it VTBCA something short CA yeah I'm cool with that VTBCA then I'll go for next I want this to last for since the root certification authority I want it to last for about um yeah 10 years okay that would be cool and to aspire 20 seven and then I'll go for nest these are my default database locations I'm cool go for nest and then I'm going to configure that okay guys the configuration just started I'll be back as soon as it's done all right so our configuration is succeeded so we just go for close here and then we can close the this wizard as well then when we go to the choose you find here we have the certification authority guys let's open that all right so these are vtbca we'll go for revoke certificate we have none issued none pending field request but we have certificate templates here, right here um these are the templates that are default here okay to be used but we can create our own customized template which is definitely what we are going to do but before that guys we are in a domain network and um, we want 
the user account okay to have a certificate to would manually give to them also the computer account so we need to ensure that the user accounts um, are created okay so since this is a new um, forest this is a new domain I'm going to go ahead and create two user accounts that would be used to test this functionality so to do that since it is also my domain controller I would go for the tools and then I'll go over to AD users and computers all right that brings me here where I can expand my domain name and I'll go for users I'm going to just create the user account here so quickly all right so user I'll call this guy Vincent Iorinde, okay, and then I'll go over and the username I'll call it Ayo. Ayo, okay, so that is my username. I'll go for Nest, and then, um, uh, sorry, I didn't provide the password for that, that was too quick. I'll give the password. Um, this user should not change the password just for just testing purpose. So I like that and I'll go for finish All right guys, um, like I said earlier, I will be creating two but I've changed my mind. We'll create just one for now So I will double click on that user and ensure I give him an email that corresponds to the username So I will at Vincent's tech blog Dot com very important guys very important to give every user account an email because it will be used by the CA. Now we we'll apply that, and then we'll go for OK. All right, guys. So right here we have uh, a user account, which is um, part of our domain. We can minimize that. Right here on our certificate authority, where is it here? We can go ahead and create a certificate template for the users on our new network to enroll for. So I'll right click on that certificate template, go for manage quickly. And right here, I would look for my certificate I want to modify and use. I want the user certificate. So I'll right click on the user and go for duplicate. Okay, right here, I'll go for general and then call this VTB users VTB users certificate I think I'm cool with that I want these to last for one year basically yes and then um, on the security I will ensure that authenticated users can um, enroll for this and then um, yeah can read and then the auto enroll can be selected because after manual enrollment, we're also going to look at the auto enrollment. So we're going to enable auto enrollment for the users for the certificate. And also, um, domain admins should have all these. Okay, also auto enroll. Domain users should have enroll, read, and then auto enroll. Very good. And enterprise administrators should have all as well as auto enroll. Okay fine please guys take note the auto enroll does not work at the moment when we select this we need to configure the auto enrollment in the group policy before it can take effect so for now we are just enabling this auto enrollment permission because we'll be doing it in the future so I'm cool with this permission as you can see the domain users can read enroll and what auto enroll which is what we want and then we'll apply for that we we'll apply that settings and then we'll go for ok alright guys that certificate is been created as a template then we we'll need to right click on the certificate templates now and go for new and then go for certificate to issue ok so right here on this dialog I can see here my VTB user certificate I've just created 
When I go for OK, it's now part of the certificate that can be enrolled for. When I open it up, it's going to work as the client authentication, secure the email, and then it's going to help provide the encrypting file system. We are cool with that. As you can see here, we have include email address. That is exactly why we give the email address at first. So we'll go for OK. Now, as we've created these guys, let's test this user account with these certificates before we look at the computer account. So let's go over to our client's PC to test this configuration. Here we are on the client PC which is the PC one. We're going to log in with the user account we just created. This is the first time we'll be using it to log in. So let's just log in. Oh yeah guys, so it's logging me into my PC as a client. We'll be seeing how to manually enroll for the user certificate that is manually how you can enroll for a certificate for all the user account now i'm in so we can either use the set manager by going to the run dialog box and type the set manager mgr.msc to request for this certificate okay through the personnel or we can go to our MMC basically it's the same thing I just wanted to show you guys this okay I can go here and then go for my file add or remove snapping and uh, over here I'll select my certificate so I'm going for OK, you find that we have the same thing here. So I like to use this basically. So the set manager, let's close it for now. Right click on the personnel, all task, and then request new certificate. We can go for next here. Now we have here active directory enrollment policy. That is the policy server we are using. Then we'll go for next. Over here, you realize we have our certificate part of the available certificates that we can use. So we'll click on that and go for enroll. All right, guys. So this certificate has been successfully enrolled for. It says the following certificates have been enrolled and installed on your computer. So. Uh, all we need to do is go for finish right now guys you realize that a certificate has been given to this user account as soon as we open that certificate you see here that the certificate is intended for the following purpose prove your identity to a remote computer as a user account proves email messages and allows data on the disk to be encrypted and it's given to this user by this um, certificate authority and it lasts for one year okay that's exactly what we wanted guys so <clears throat> from here in the certification part we realize that we can view the root ca issue in the certificate and guys yeah it lasts for 10 years as you can see here it's from 2017 to 2027 wow cool so that is exactly how it's configured for the user certificate guys now right here that we've seen how to do this let's see how we can configure a computer certificate okay to authenticate the computer itself no matter the user that logs onto the computer all right now to do that we need to go back to the certificate authority certificate authority and then create a template for our computer accounts so let's go back to the certificate authority okay guys right here on the certificate authority when we go for issue certificate you realize that we find um, one certificate issued when we open it you notice that this certificate 
has been issued to this user account which is perfect so now the next thing to do is to manually see how we can um, enroll for the computer certificate computer account certificate as well so right click on the certificate template and go for manage this time around we'll go for computer that is what we want to do right click and duplicate and then go for general would we'll say VTB computers computer certificate VTB computers certificate okay and then when we go for security okay authenticated users can um, read and we don't want the user account to be able to enroll okay for these certificates we want only the domain admin to be able to enroll so we'll go for domain admin should be able to enroll write read okay cool domain computers should be able to enroll for this certificate also read okay basically and then uh we can go ahead and then click on the enterprise administrators as well yes so this for the computer certificate so domain admin domain computers can um, enroll and read fine domain admins can read and enroll and write very good authenticated users can read okay read just read i'll go for apply and then we'll go for okay all right guys so now this certificate for it to be issued we need to right click on the certificate template go for new certificate template to issue and then we we'll select vtb computer certificate computers certificate that is it right there guys ready to be used so now we we'll go over to the client's computer and then log in as a domain administrator because that is the only account we've specified to be able to request a certificate for a computer in the domain which is more secured so we'll go there now okay guys right here on the computer we want to give a certificate to you would log in as the domain admin we are in here on the um, client computer we want to give a certificate to the computer itself so we just need to go to the MMC we are logged in as a domain admin because that's the one who has a permission so any domain admin account can do this only the ones who permit it basically so. all right so now we we'll go for file how to remove snapping we we'll select certificate and we'll go now guys you realize that here we have the option to select service or computer so we'll go for computer and go for next local computer and then we'll go for okay so right here we'll go for personal you realize that this computer does not have a certificate for authentication we want to give it so we'll right click and then go for all task request new certificate and we'll go for next and then we'll go for next here all right guys after this phase on the next page we should find the certificate we can apply for which we created good guys you realize here we have vtb computer certificate we select that and then we'll go for enroll for this computer okay guys you realize that it says the following certificate has been enrolled and installed on this computer we'll go for finish certificate here you realize that our computer now itself has a certificate pc1.vincenttechblog.com it is used to ensure the identity of a remote computer and also proves your identity to a remote computer so this is the computer certificate itself which also lasts for one year and has been given by the certificate authority that is exactly how you manually enroll for 
a computer certificate and a user certificate. Okay, so I believe this is perfectly understood by you. So if you want to give other computers this certificate, because you need to log in to them and then follow the same process so that all your all the computers on your network can have certificates being issued to them by the certificate authority of your domain. So every data being transmitted can be encrypted and every computer can be identified as trustworthy all right so now the next thing we need to do here is uh move over to the ca 